Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. As you can tell in the title, today's video is going to be on what is in my hospital bag and in baby girl's bag. So before we get started, I do wanna apologize for the way I look. I did not do my hair, I just pulled it back. But that is what I'm feeling right now because I am so exhausted. At least I did my makeup for you guys. But I am super tired. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. Let me give you guys a little bump update on um, baby K. So this is what we look like. Pretty big. Um, she has dropped. She has dropped into my um, birthing canal. I can feel it. Uh, doctor says that baby girl can come whenever she wants now. And he did give me some tips on what I can do to throw myself into labor. So maybe on the next video, if you guys stay tuned, you guys will see that. I'm going to try and do what I can to throw myself into labor because I need her out. She's getting evicted. I'm done. I'm tired. I just want to hold my little baby. But with that being said, you guys, I do want to show you what I am taking in my hospital bag. So I am a fan of these bags. I found them. This is the guest bag and it's actually kind of um, matching with the diaper bag. So you guys will see right now. But Let's see what I am. I'm actually going to bring this stuff based off of my comfort and knowledge. I really didn't ask a lot of people. I did have a baby 10 years ago and things were different, way different. I am more put together. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And so that's what I'm bringing. That's what I'm going based off of. And um, of course, some people did tell me, you know, a little bit of tips here and there. I have been watching videos on what to bring. I don't want to take too much because I know the hospital gives you a lot and um, I'm just taking stuff based off my aunt so that I can be very comfortable so I'm gonna start with my hairbrush I am taking my brush you guys because no one told me that there was just not gonna be a hairbrush there and that there was gonna be pictures and if you know me I love my pictures I love to take pictures and you need a brush girl you got to keep that weave intact nice and clean and cute so for sure take a brush i am actually going to take two sets of nursing bras i did get these at target these are so they they do come undone right here so you know if you want to pop out a little booby moment to breastfeed your baby I did um, bring it in, I'm bringing it in tan and in white. So I'm bringing two, and I'm only bringing two just in case um, one gets wet, one gets dirty or something, and um, I have an extra one. Now, I am going to be bringing what I'm going to use in the hospital. I plan to shower and everything after, if they let me right away. Um, and I do have a matching set. So I wanna um, take some pictures with baby girl. And I did purchase this lilac pajama set and the material is so soft. And the material is actually the same as the baby's um, onesie that she's gonna be having. So I wanna take a picture with this and that's why I'm, I'm taking this, this is for, and for comfort. I love um, the type of material, it's not like super thick it's thin kind of and um of course i'm gonna take some little booties some socks i know that the hospital gives you socks but i'm sure they're like either blue or yellow sometimes orange and i want to match so i'm bringing my lilac socks and these i just bought these at um burlington's i believe and the pajama set i actually got at burlington's as well And with that, you guys, I actually purchased some slippers with the same color. And um, that is just because I want to match and look cute and feel cute. And you're having a baby. I just don't want to look like the life was taken out of me, which it probably <laughs> really is. But when I am put together and just like feeling myself... I just have a better day and I know that I'm going to want that. Who wouldn't? I'm giving birth. Hello. 
Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I have heartburn like no other. And then I am going to bring a... Um, so I purchased these underwear. They are actually thick on, on the top up here. It's like um, compression. And you guys, me personally, when I am on my period, I love anything that is tight and just holds everything together. Um, and you guys know that when you have a baby, um, your stomach is like loose and stuff like that. I don't like that feeling. I don't like to be all over like the place. I want it to feel, I want to feel like snatched and whatnot. Not extreme. I can't wear a, bod a body faha, like a full body faha. I don't want that. I know that for sure that my first pregnancy was just I could not get into it. It hurt so bad. So I thought, well, I'm just going to buy these little underwear. Not little girl. They're, they're big. Let's be real. They're big, big. These are granny panties. I don't own any of these, but I bought some. And now I own them. And we're going to try them out. So I'm taking them in black and in um, beige. And again, like I said, it, I like the compression feel. So I'm going to take these preferably than a whole body faha. I'm just not a fan of yet. But to start off, I recommend these. Again, I bought these at Burlington's. Pretty much everything I bought at Burlington's, including my bag. And then um, to come home in, I'm actually going to be bringing this cute tan outfit. So in my, so my 10 year old, I'm letting her be part of some stuff so she doesn't feel left out. And um, she wants to come home in like, bear theme or like neutrals browns and stuff like that so i did purchase a bear sweater for her and then for the baby i did also um purchase a a bear outfit so you guys will see that in a bit but so i'm just coming home in this like um not a pajama set i guess it's very thin very very thin and loose and you guys know that we're in august and it is hot where i'm at so I want something very light. This is this is actually from Shein. And you guys, this is super cute, this color. It's like a tan, but it also has a little bit of brown in it. And it's very loose, like I said. It's super, super cute. And I hope that I just can fit in it afterwards, but we'll see. And then some tanny shoes, of course. I'm not gonna come home in slippers. I just don't want to. Um, I prefer tennies, so I bought some tennies, and that is it for the clothes. And what we're bringing, I'm also gonna bring in my bag. Um, I was told nipple butter, so this one's from Earth Mama, and I'm gonna bring this. So when I first had my daughter, I was not told that it hurts so bad when you have dried nipples from breastfeeding. You guys, when I discovered the cream, I was like, why didn't anybody tell me? But again, I was younger. I know now, I know a lot more, and I'm more in tune with my body. And so I am bringing this nipple cream, for sure. Also, I know the hospital gives um, like the breastfeeding, uh, the breastfeeding pads, I think it is, or the, they give you other stuff, but this, these are from Parents' Choice, and these ones, I'm just bringing four, so these are the uh, pads, just in case, you know, you start leaking or whatever. The first time around, I was not um, producing as much milk, but I'm already producing milk, so I'm hoping that that's a good sign. Also, I'm going to be bringing what I know they give at the hospital. Um, it's, what is it, the... Perineal, perineal bottle, per, peri bottle. So this one's the Frida. And you guys, I'm going to bring this. I bought this. I invested in this because I know the last time when I had my baby, it was like straight up the ones they give you at the hospital. And it doesn't have this little like curve, which is very convenient, right? Um, and I was just scared to use it because I was scared to hurt myself or poke myself. or So this one, I've been told... A lot of good things and I went to go purchase it and got to make sure she's clean girl we got to make sure she's clean and it comes in a little cute little bag like this 
Okay guys, so that is it for the hospital bag, which has my clothes and basic stuff. Um, I am also going to be bringing this little case, which shout out to my husband, he bought it for me on, in, on Amazon. And he, this is going to hold all my essentials and my makeup. Um, yes, I am taking my makeup because I want to be put together. I want to look like I'm put together and I'm going to be taking pictures. So if I can, I'm going to get ready and take, um, and put on some makeup, but if not, it's fine too. Um, what I have on right now is pretty basic, but I am taking my makeup bag and inside this bag, it's pretty neat how you can hold like your brushes on top. Let me show you. So the brushes can be held on top and then inside is pretty much where I have like the makeup and let's see. I did um, go purchase from Target a little pouch with a toothbrush and toothpaste just so that way I don't have to like run into the bathroom and get mine when I'm going into labor. When I do go into labor, um, if I forget this at the hospital, then I forget it at the hospital. I'm also going to be bringing um, my Listerine mouthwash. This is a must have for me. I get so grossed out with bad breath, morning breath, since I got pregnant. Like, it's already gross, but it's just increased <laughs> with pregnancy. So, this is a must have. Also, I'm gonna be bringing um, some hand sanitizer because, you know, we're gonna be in the hospital and people are gonna come over and see the baby and whatnot. And I just like to have the hand sanitizer on hand because Remember you guys, the baby is very delicate and her immune system is going to be super low. It's not as strong as ours and I just want to be safe. So hand sanitizer, um, fresh cherry Carmix. I need lip balm, you guys. My lips are always freaking dry and that's because I always wear matte lipstick. But you cannot have chapped lips while you give birth to your baby. So this is a must for sure. Um, I'm also going to bring a um, moisturizing cream. So I plan to shower, like I said, and do my whole routine there if I can. Um, I know I can't get down and dirty like, you know, shaving and all that stuff. I don't want to do all that, like shave my legs or whatnot. Um, but for sure, I'm going to take my moisturizing cream. And with that, I'm going to also take um, my eye cream. So I need these. My face gets dry so, so fast. And if I don't apply this the one night, I'll have like dry, dry peeling skin the next day. So we don't want that. We're gonna be a, a brand new mom and we want nice glowy skin. And then I'm going to be taking um, the little life, I mean the little life size, the little um, travel size shampoo and conditioner. Mine is Tresemme. And also I'm going to be taking um, a thousand wishes body lotion. So this one's for me. Um, it smells good and I love it so that's pretty much it of course my basic makeup you guys as you can see here some lip gloss um, I am going to take what I can what fits in here and if I use it I use it if not it's fine as well but that is it for me now let's move on to the baby stuff okay guys like I said my bag matched my diaper bag which is Guess. I love Guess, especially because my last name starts with a G, and so is Baby K's. Baby K's last name is Gomez, and it just, it's cute, and it matches um, my car seat and my stroller and everything, so this is Baby K's bag, and let's see what we're gonna take. I'm not taking much, you guys. I'm not gonna take diapers. I know that the hospital gives you diapers, and I just don't wanna overtake because what you're usually in there probably for 24 hours so i'm not trying to take all this stuff i mainly i'm just taking stuff that like i want to take pictures in um stuff to be comfortable in and of course stuff to come home in and i did the same thing with baby k so for sure i'm taking these so she can have cute hair let me tell you with baby k i have so much heartburn like every day, all day, no matter what I eat. So homegirl better come out with hair because this heartburn is no joke. And um, then we can comb her hair when she's here, so. But she better come out with with heart, with heart with heartburn. She better come out with um, 
hair because of my heartburn. It's like ridiculous. So I am going to bring some little, like this little onesie. It's a newborn onesie. And the only reason why I'm bringing it is because the outfit that I bought her to come home in, which is this one, and it's so cute. This is actually from Shein. And this was, like I said, Naya's choice. You know, I let her be part of it, and it has little bears on it. And then we're just going to dress it up. It has a little onesie. And this one says zero to one month, but I feel like it's going to be maybe a little big. But she also might be a big baby, so who knows. And then this little hair headpiece right here to match it. And, of course, I am bringing some little socks for her. Some white socks and then another pair that goes with this little bow. Um, depending on what I want to put on her or if it fits her or not, then we'll go based off that. But this is her come, coming home outfit. And you guys, these are so freaking cute. Like all this baby stuff is just so cute. And this one's newborn. So I just put this in here just in case, you know, like I said, it doesn't fit her. Um, here's another one. These are so cute because the bottom right here is like where her feet are. And it's just easier to, you know, for her to move and for us to just change her diaper and stuff like that. So this one, just a cute, some cute little outfits. And this one is going to go with my pajama that you guys seen. Um, so this is one of the pictures that I want to take with her. Uh, comes with a little headpiece. And then it's one of these like knotted um, onesies, the gowns. And it's lilac color. It is. It matches perfect with my, with my pajama set that I got. I'm also going to bring um, some wipies and... I am just taking them personally just because I want to, not for any reason. The hospital does give you the wipes, pampers, and um, I believe some other stuff. Now, I am going to take just three diapers that I have. These ones are plant-based that I got. They're newborn. And again, you guys, this is just my preference um, on what I'm taking, but just three. I don't need any more. Like I said, the hospital does give you diapers, so you don't really have to take these, but I want to, so... And this is also because when we come home um, from the hospital, if she poops or pees or anything, I have stuff to change her her diaper. Um, I'm also going to be bringing these little mittens that I did get, um, just in case you know if her nails are long, and I don't want her to cut, I don't want her to scratch her face. Also, these little um, little burp cloths, just to have again my preference. The hospital gives you guys everything. I just wanted to bring them myself. And also I'm going to be bringing these cute little things that match some of her outfits. So like for the pacifiers, I am going, this one matches the, the lavender one. And then this one I got for my baby shower. It is so freaking cute. And then you do put the pacifier at the end and you'll clamp it to their little outfit. And then these are the pacifiers that I'm going to be taking. Event, event, Phillips event. I think that's how you say it. But you guys, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to give her this um, pacifier only because I want to breastfeed and they say not to give the pacifier to the baby if you're going to breastfeed because it might confuse them on the nipple. Um, me personally, I did give it to my daughter when I had her with Naya, which was 10 years ago. And the only reason why we gave it to her was because I was, um, I had an anxiety attack and stuff, so I could not breastfeed my baby right away. Uh, I had to wait like six hours. And so in between those six hours, they gave her a pacifier, which is totally fine. I was able to breastfeed afterwards and it didn't confuse her. But again, every baby is different. Doctors just told me not to. Some did, some, you know, it's your choice, but I'm not 100% sure how everything's going to work out and how everything's going to plan out. So we'll see, but I did, I'm did. i bringing it just in case. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, you guys. This, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. Again, I am only taking stuff that I think that I need. I plan to be there 24 hours and then go home. Um, I normally have a vaginal delivery, not C-section. So that's what I'm going based off of. 
I know if you have a C-section, you're there like what, four days? I'm not sure. Um, but I hope I am going to just have her and then come home so, so that way we can be comfortable and whatnot. Um, but if there's anything that I'm missing that you guys think that I, sh I should have or it's a must have, please comment down below and let me know, you guys. If not, this is it for my hospital bag. I can't believe that we're actually doing the hospital bag. Now I'm just ready for her to be here and I'm going to try my hardest to get her out. I'm going to be on the ball, um, drink raspberry um, leaf tea. They said eat pineapple and go walking. So I'm going to do all of that. I am going to take you guys and I'll show you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.